If you're new to Kubernetes like me, you might be used to using kubectl and yaml manifest to work with a Kubernetes cluster. But there is another way to access Kubernetes APIs and create custom tools. It is done by using Kubernetes client libraries in your programs. The most popular and the oldest client framework is Client Go. Python, Java, JavaScript client libraries are also available and officially supported by Kubernetes. In this video, I will show you how to get started on Kubernetes API programming using Client Go. This will come in handy, especially when you work with stateful applications and you need to automate things like database backups, upgrading images, restarting instances and whatnot. The first thing you want to do is to install Golang on the host that you're working on. If it is not installed, you can directly download Go Tarball and untar it, provided your machine has access to internet. After installing Golang, you can add the Go binary path to the path environment variable. And let's run a simple Go version command to check the installation. One of the details to pay attention to is the compatibility of Golang version against your Kubernetes cluster version. You can use this chart from the official Kubernetes documentation to verify that. I will leave all the relevant links in the video description. Here's the Kubernetes version and the Go version that I am using for this demo. I created a directory called client go example and I'm gonna run go mod init command being inside this directory. This is where I'm gonna be having sample code, which we'll talk about shortly. I'm gonna grab this code from Kubernetes client go repo and copy it into my directory. Let's take a quick look at this code. This is a main.go file. It just starts with package main line, followed by importing a bunch of standard packages. And then they import client go library and API machinery library. These are the main dependencies we need for interacting with Kubernetes APIs and using client go. Then they go into the main function and write some code to look for config file in the .kub directory. So make sure to copy that file from your Kubernetes cluster. Then they read the context info from your kub config file and set it. Then comes the most important part, which is creating client set object that will help us to interact with Kubernetes core APIs. Then the program proceeds to a for loop where they first count the total number of pods in the Kubernetes cluster, and then looks for a particular pod called pub pod in default namespace every 10 seconds. Let's see this in action. Now to make my life simple, I will set this go environment variable in order to manage the code dependencies easily. Now I'm going to run go mod tidy command to make it download all the required libraries based on the imports in the code. Now let's kick off this guy and see what he does. It is hitting the pod core APIs and getting some details about the pod, the one that we hard coded in the program. Just for fun, I am going to delete this pod and see if that reflects in the output of the script. Yup. All right, awesome. So we just learned how to work with Kubernetes programmatically using client go library. 